So writing equations for polynomials, it's a fourth degree. It has a zero at two, so I need the factor x minus two with a multiplicity of three. And it has a zero at negative five, so I need a x plus five. And it has a y-intercept of 80, so I'm going to have to figure out what that value is. So if x was 0, this would be negative 2 cubed and 5. What would I have to multiply to get up to an 80? So this is negative 8 times 5, so negative 40. Therefore, a equals negative 2. So now my final equation, because it's called f of x, I better use the same language. And then negative 2, and then I can do my factors. Okay, next, determine the equation of the polynomial. <coughs> so we have a factor x plus 1 there, or x plus 3, sorry. <coughs> and then x minus 2 with a bounce. We need some kind of slope number. And I need to get that slope number to make y to be 24 when x is 0. So then this would multiply to 3 times positive 4, so 12. So a is 2. Obviously, I can also tell by the shape that the slope is positive. So my final answer, so this one's called p of x. So p of x equals 2. And then I can do the factors that I wrote down before. So this is a positive slope on a fourth degree. So now I can see uh, x plus 2 as a factor with a bounce an x minus 1 factor with a bounce, some kind of a number, and I want the y to, to be 12 when x is 0. So this times this, 4 times positive 1, so a is 3. So again, this is a p of x function, so p of x equals 3, and then the list of factors. Number 4, determine the, equal, uh, determine the value of the leading coefficient on this graph. So we don't need the actual equation, just the coefficient. So this is a fifth degree. The coefficient will be positive. So I need a factor x plus 3. I need a flatten on the factor x plus 1. So cubed, and I need to go through 1, so x minus 1. So that's my fifth degree. I need some kind of a value in the front. So y is going to be negative 12 when x is 0. So all that, 3 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 3, so therefore the coefficient is 4. If p of x is that, is a cubic function with a y-intercept of negative 12, identify the missing factor. Okay, so if I want the y-intercept to be negative 12, <coughs> 3 times something times 1 squared, because at that point x is 0. So if I multiply this and this, that's 3. So negative 4 equals m. Therefore, this factor would have been x minus 4 to cause 0 minus 4. So 
so that's A. Determine the equation, question six. So this is a fourth degree positive slope. So some kind of coefficient. I have a factor x plus two. I have a factor with x minus one and an x minus three with a bounce. I want the y to be negative 36 when x is zero. So all of this multiplies to two, negative one, and positive nine. So that is negative 18. Therefore, a equals two. And remember, just to double check, like that makes sense because that's positive. So this one is called p of x. So p of x equals two times the factors. We have to get an equation that satisfies this. Fourth degree, it has a zero at three. So x minus three is a factor with a multiplicity of two. It has a zero at negative one. So x plus one and x plus two. And we have some kind of a value. So it passes through the coordinate 224. So this time I'm going to plug in 2 for the x and 24 for the y. Oops, not x, 2. Keep plugging 2 in for every x. Okay, so this is negative 1 squared. So 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 4, so all that multiplies to 12. So therefore, a equals 2. So the function is p of x equals 2, and then the list of my factors. The polynomial has a y-intercept of negative 8. Identify the value of a. So negative 8 equals a. If x was 0, if x was 0, so this is positive 1 times 4. So therefore, if I, oops, sorry, this is 16. There we go, made a mistake. 4 squared is 16. So negative 8 divided by 16 equals a which is negative half.